Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the brand new editing experience available in Squarespace called Fluid Engine. In this video, we're gonna talk about what the heck Fluid Engine is and why I am so darn excited about it. And I'm gonna show you where you can learn more about this awesome new editing experience. Fluid Engine is a brand new version of editing a site inside Squarespace. We have a lot more capabilities than we used to have. Squarespace is still a drag and drop editor, also known as a WYSIWYG, which stands for what you see is what you get. But using Fluid Engine, we have a lot more capabilities to create amazing, unique layouts than we've ever had before. Here's a sneak peek at what it looks like to edit a site using Fluid Engine. So here we are in edit mode. I'm gonna select add section and we'll grab one of these pre-made sections from Squarespace. Just takes a second to load, there we go. Let's go ahead and start with this one. This section right here. This has text and images on it. And you'll notice this text is in a layer on top of this image with additional text underneath, check it out. So if we click on this text right here, we can actually use these options, you see these little squares, to change the size of this text. Let's go ahead and pull it over to the side and it's going to shrink because it's set to fill the container. Check it out. This option right here will change my heading to to fill whatever size this block of text is. Now, as I drag this, I want you to notice those squares that are showing up in the background. That's our brand new grid. Press G on your keyboard if you wanna keep that grid visible while you're editing. People won't see this grid when they visit your site. This is just in edit mode. Now let's take this extra block of text we have here and pull this over and notice it's also on top of the image. How cool is that? You can create layers of content inside Squarespace. Now let's say we've got that text over here but we wanna give it a background if I go ahead and click on the text block and click this icon right here, I can give it a solid color background custom for that text block. I'll toggle on background and there we go. Now let's say we want to actually have this centered on desktop. I'll pull it back over to the edge, but we want it stacked on mobile. We can edit them separately. If I click into the mobile device preview here of my site, I want you to notice the image is now on top and the text beneath I can actually pull this text up and have it laid over the image and reduce the number of rows for that page section. And if we go back to the desktop view, nothing here has changed. We edited just the mobile version of our site. How cool is that? That's an awesome new feature exclusive for Fluid Engine. Now to add a content block, we're not gonna see that blue plus sign that we've seen before in version 7.1. Instead, on the left-hand side, you'll see Add Block. If you click on this, you'll find all the content blocks that you know and love. Let's go ahead and add a line. We'll click on the Line option, and there we go. Now I can drag this to anywhere I want on my site, and I can use those options to stretch it out to the side to make it a big line or smaller. And check this out. If let's say I want it to be behind the image, I can actually adjust the layers right here in the editor. Clicking this option is gonna put that line behind the image. Let's scroll up and do this over that text box so you can see it even more clearly. There we go. If I click this option, that'll place it on top of the text box and the image. Put it back one layer, it's behind the text box but above the image. And if I click it one more time, it'll take it all the way to the back. So this is how you can adjust layers of content on your site. Now there are a lot of amazing things you can do and cool layouts that I'd love to teach you how to create, but I'm trying to keep this video a quick overview, so let me show you one more thing, edit section. This is completely different than it was before. If you click edit section, you'll now see the option to edit the rows, the gap, fill screen, height, alignment, all kinds of stuff. Height and alignment are pretty similar to what we worked with before, but check out this gap option. This creates space between those grid squares. If I click this, it will remove that space, which shifts everything aligned to that grid. I can also manually increase or decrease the row count right here. Lots of different options to explore. Definitely check out your new page section settings menu for these fluid engine sections. 
So you have the fill and fit options, the layering content, mobile specific layouts, and super flexible layouts for every page section that you create using this new editing experience. So what's the same? It's important to know that list sections and gallery sections still work the same as they did before Fluid Engine was released. You manage the content of those sections in their own content menu, if you will. I have a tutorial on both of those listed in the description below, so check out those links if you want to learn more about editing a list section or a gallery section, because it's exactly the same. I also want to mention that most collection pages are classic. Now, what the heck does that mean? That means if you're writing a blog post, it's gonna be the same as it was before. Blog posts don't use Fluid Engine. Additional product details, those don't use Fluid Engine either. Event listings, same thing. It's going to be the classic editor that you know and love. But brand new page sections, those will use this awesome new editing experience. Now, Squarespace is still responsive, but at the time of recording this video, we only have the option to edit the desktop or the mobile view. The mobile view kicks in at 749 pixels in width. So any device that's smaller than 749 pixels will get the mobile layout of your site. Now, you might be wondering, what about tablet? And that's something we're going to cover in my brand new workshop that's happening on July 28th. That's right, I am teaching a workshop to share with you everything I know and love about this brand new editing experience. You can sign up at insidethesquare.co forward slash workshop. It's going to be live online, so I'll be taking questions and teaching you all the things that I've learned about making awesome layouts with this brand new editing experience. Again, that's insidethesquare.co forward slash workshop. Now, if you can't attend live, because I know I have audience members around the world, I want you to know as soon as you enroll, you can submit a question ahead of time to make sure I cover it in class, and you'll definitely get access to the recording. You'll also get my brand new Fluid Engine Reference Guide, which has a list of everything we're covering, including new terminology and some awesome links to check out exclusive private videos on how to recreate layouts specifically in Fluid Engine. Some awesome design concepts that I'm really excited to share. So again, that's insidethesquare.co forward slash workshop. Alrighty, let's recap this. Fluid Engine is the brand new editing experience now available in Squarespace. It lets you take blocks of content and arrange them inside a row and column grid in any way that you want. You can resize these blocks, you can have them layered, and you can make the mobile version of your website a completely different layout than the desktop version. So you can rearrange your content blocks so they look exactly the way you want them to on mobile, no extra code required. Now, list sections and gallery sections, they still work the same way that they did before. You manage their content inside that page section itself. If you're working on a blog post, an individual event, or additional product details, those also use what's now known as the classic editor. It's going to be the exact same way that it was before. But brand new page sections will be using Fluid Engine. Now, I have a ton of more stuff to teach you about this brand new editing experience. I've been working with it for weeks, and I've learned some really cool tricks that I want to share with you. Things like keyboard shortcuts and some awesome layout options. I would love to teach you everything I know about Fluid Engine in my live workshop on July 28th. That's right, I'm going live so I can show you all the cool stuff I know about Fluid Engine and take your questions. So if you're curious about updating an existing site or creating a new layout concept, let's talk about it live. Join me in my workshop. You can sign up at insidethesquare.co forward slash workshop, and I would love to teach you everything I know about Fluid Engine. Now, I do have an audience around the world, so if you cannot attend live, if it's not at the right time, you can still enroll in the workshop and submit your question ahead of time so I can make sure I answer it and send you a recording of the video after we're done. So definitely check that out inside the square.co forward slash workshop. I would love to teach you about all the cool things that Fluid Engine can do. I am super excited about it. All right, I'll go ahead and call this video a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a like and comment below and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I've got a lot more to share now that we've got this brand new editing experience. All right, thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. 
If you're watching this video after July 28, 2022, a recording of that live workshop is still available. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash workshop to get access to the recording of this live workshop on Fluid Engine, and you'll get access to the awesome Fluid Engine reference guide that I mentioned in the video. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash workshop.